to see how the roads are doing in the metro. Let's go to meteorologist Molly Rosenblatt. And uh, Molly, I know you're there in Minneapolis right off of 394. Yes, Angela. Hi, we're right off of 394 in the 6th Street downtown exit. You can see traffic's very slow heading out of downtown. And for us, for a couple of hours trying to drive through downtown, traffic was just plain ridiculous at a standstill. It was spin out after spin out, car after car getting stuck in the thick snow. And this brutal weather, it didn't move in until after the morning commute. And for those uh, outside, out and about, it was either a love or hate kind of a day. Roads are slippery. Can't see the markings on the road. Cross country skier Gary Haley welcomes the snow with open arms, but the bitter wind kept him from enjoying it. It is brutal. It's it's winter, you know. It's I just went cross country skiing and went for a little while. It was so icy and the wind was blowing out in the open. So we called it a day only to deal with the messy roads. What do you think about this weather? Uh it's pretty intense out here. I'll give you that. For many, today's conditions might be a hassle and downright nasty to be out in, but others embrace it. For marathon runner Jonathan Erber, today's conditions were a piece of cake. Nice enough, in fact, to run 10 miles in shorts. The snow is the best when it's fresh because it's not all icy. He ran against the pelting wet snow and gusty winds down Summit Avenue with a smile. This is like the best weather because you're not sweating. In the summer, you like wish there'd be 30 degrees and snowing again because here you can just run and not sweat. And Erber isn't the only one who appreciates what Mother Nature brought us today. It's intense. It's very intense. But you got to be from Minnesota to understand this weather. It's beautiful out here, though. You still got to like to play in this stuff. Period. You got to still be a kid at heart. Okay, and it's obviously very slick, slow going. You can see there was just an accident right behind me. So the roads are still treacherous out there. If you don't have to leave home, please just stay there, stay safe, and uh, just hang out at home tonight because it's still quite ridiculous out there. Amelia, back to you. Good advice, Molly, and you drive safely too. Thank you.